Hi, welcome to the SCADA lab. Today we're going to be going over the basic setup of a T-BIN S24 IOL or a Turk 4-port IO-Link bus. That being set up to a Compact Logix L24ER on, with Studio 5000 version 24 software. First thing we're going to want to do is go online, make sure you find the manual. It can be found with the product page at Turk's website. From there, you're going to want to scroll down, instructions for use, instructions for use. As soon as you click it, it should open up a PDF. And from there, you can go to the various sections as you need them. This being the basic setup, we're just going to go through getting connected to the device and getting the device working with the Control Logix controller. First thing, of course, going to have to connect to Ethernet so we can connect to it. It uses the uh, four pin MA Ethernet connectors. Make sure you've got that hooked up to either your device or to your network that you're using. And then connection of power, which has displayed four pin 8M connectors, which is yeah, hooked to your power supply. Once that's up and running, we'll have to set the IP address so we can get in and make any changes necessary. The uh, first recommended way that Turk has in their manual here is using the Turk service tool and connecting to it that way, searching your network and then finding it and setting its IP address through the service tool. Alternatively, if you don't want to do that, you can always use Wireshark to find the IP address and simply type it in to pull up the remote interface. In this case, that would be the IP address for my block that I found through Wireshark, pulled it up, and here you can change the settings like that. But in order to do so, you'll have to have login permission. By default, it's just password. There is no Login is just the password. By default, it's password and it locks you in as an admin here. From there, you can go to network configuration and you can change your IP and all the network settings as well if you so desire. Once you've got the IP address, you've got it all set up, you know where you're at. The next thing you need to do is open up. Sorry, I forgot a step here. You need to go back to the Turk product page and download a configuration file, specifically this one, the GSDML files, which are, if I can find it quickly, project files, oh, hold up, let's do this, which are project files that you download. I've already downloaded it just to save me the step, but uh, it'll be downloading this, and then it'll download. And once you download it, it'll have a catalog and then version 24. These are project files for Studio 5000 that when opened have a long list of generic devices. They have every single device in this category of items. So it's got all of the TPIM blocks, I believe. And once you get that downloaded, you can open these projects, or you can extract this wherever you want to keep your catalog files, and then you can open the light version, which I have already opened. Here. This is what the catalog file is. The light version has every single Ethernet module. It's got all of the T bands, the BL. CN, all of it. The are all set up. These are all set up as generic Ethernet devices, but they already have all of the setup done for them. So it's very simple to just quickly go through, find the one that you need. And in order to move it into a program, all you have to do is pull up your program that you're going to be running it on, set it off to the side. Example. And then pull up the other one, 
with your various generic devices, all of your pieces here. Scroll down, find the one that you're looking for. In this case, this is us. And then drag. It'll take a little while, but you can drag and then drop your device over to the other side, which it's fighting me for some reason. There we go, Ethernet. It'll then import it over and voila, you have your brand new Ethernet device. Once it's been ported over, you can close the other window and then you go in here, simply set your oops, properties, simply set your settings. So in this case, we've got an IP address, should be one of in my case, I'll just put in my IP address. And since I have poor memory. Put in your IP address. You don't have to worry about any form of connection parameters or uh, library sizes as the configuration file takes care of that for you. So long as you make sure that you have the correct version of the software. That is one thing that if you don't have the correct version for your software, these will change. So you'll have to double check and make sure those are the correct software. And if it's not, then you need to make adjustments as such for the correct software. All your standard connection changes, anything like that, simply hit apply. Okay. And then being this, I don't have any, or being this, a blank program, I don't have anything in here. But uh, let me quickly throw a program in here. It's just There you go. Very, very simple program, but it's fine. It'll, it's enough that it'll run it through. From there, you should be able to download. Whoops. Okay, make sure you're connected to your device through Ethernet. Mm, there you are. I just want to tell you to go there. There we go. Then you can go ahead once you've got it set to where you want to send it. In this case, our L24ER controller, Compact Logics. Download. Here we are, run it back into remote run mode. And there you go, you're connected to it now. Being that we got this from the configuration file, we also have all of our bitmap already mapped out for us. So expand this out a little bit. You see you've got your controller input and output and everything in here is already given a description telling you what's what and where which is extremely convenient because it means you won't have to go digging through bitmaps. That is the basic connection and configuration setup. Uh, depending on your application, you may require different settings within the block itself or your program, but this wraps up the basic connection and use with Studio 5000. Thank you, have a good day.